Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to Autonauts versus Pirate Bots, the follow up to Autonauts we have been eagerly awaiting. Don't forget that this game releases on July 28th, so make sure you go and hit that wish list on Steam if you want to keep an eye on this. But without further ado, this is what we got going on here, right? So we've got a few things done. You can see here I made toolboxes. And we've got our bots here now making the tools specifically. Looks complicated, but it's not. We'll walk through one together and they all work the exact same because these tools are made the same, right? You just change which workstation they do it from. So it's just move to the stone storage, grab it, stow it so it goes into their back pocket, go grab a stick, put it into the bench, retrieve. So now he's got the stone, put it into the bench, pick up the item. And in this instance, he's a pickaxe. So he picks up the crude pick move to it, pick it up, and then move to the storage and put it in there. And you can keep this on a forever loop. You can also do this like until this is full, but I find that unnecessary because part of the sequence, as long as you don't have an exit strategy, is that he has to add it to the storage. So if it's full, he can't add it. So therefore he'll stop himself and they'll sit right here and wait. So they even get, they even like put themselves in a nice little spot for us to monitor. So it's fantastic. So I've got three of those going. We've got a seed picker upper. I can't remember if we did that together or not, but I made a bot to pick up seeds. Easy, right? And the other thing I did, because you see these aren't just being chopped down endlessly, right? I've got, let's see, where is he? I've got my, I can't find him. I made bot teams. So in my tree farm here, I've got tree cutter. And you can see he's going psycho because he doesn't have a task to do. And I have him to cutting trees until this log storage is full. I actually, this, uh, this, this is redundant. So I have him doing it until the log storage is full. So that means if this is full, he's not going to cut trees. So they'll stay up here. And then instead of resources being on the ground and eventually despawning, they'll be there forever. So that's done. Now what I want to do before we move on is set up some blueprint boys. So that way when I drop blueprints down, they'll automatically start putting them in, right? So what we've got, I've got a couple blueprint guys, planks, logs, and poles, okay? So they don't have any code, so let's do it together. We're gonna grab BP planks, we're gonna hit record. You're gonna come over to this, and you're gonna take from here until your hands are full, or skip if, in case it's empty, right? And then you're gonna come out here. You need a blueprint to click on, but look, find the nearest blueprint. So that's the key that we're looking for here. I'm just going to set this like this. The, the size doesn't really matter. I'm just going to kind of put it out here. Like I'm going to try and just use this corner here, hopefully, and then I'll probably move it eventually. But for now, we'll do that. So, and then you'll do this until your hands are empty or exit the cycle because there's nothing else to do and then do this forever. And then hit go. You'll see now he's gonna go grab his logs. He'll come in and start throwing them all in. He'll do the same thing for every blueprint here until his hands are empty or until he can no longer go. Now let's just repeat for everybody else. So we do the same thing across the board. We need to do logs. So I grab a log. I'm gonna do this until hands are full because eventually uh, they could have upgrades so they could take more than one log. So it, does, it never hurts in this instance unless you need a specific number. So you're gonna do that. Boom, do that until your hands are empty or skip it and then rinse and repeat. Okay, uh, let me pause for a second, record. I just wanna change the size of this. It just looks ridiculous when it's so big. Good enough. All right, and now you may go. And then we'll do the same thing for the last guy here, poles. So I'm just gonna have you run up here. You're gonna take from the storage until your hands are full or exit the cycle in case they're empty. The reason I do the end cycle is because if my poles get low, instead of them getting stuck waiting for poles, they'll just exit the strategy and just kind of sit there and wait for the next thing to happen. That way they don't get stuck doing something silly, right? It's always good to have exit failures. And we'll do this until your hands are empty. And you'll do that forever. All right. So now they'll start building our basic resources for us. This is exactly what we want. You don't want to be making blueprints by yourself. Let your robots do it. Speaking of robots, what did we do here? I made a robot to make robots. Because these have so much brain space, unlike your Mark Zero ones, 
and like the Mark Zero ones, you can have them just do it all themselves. You don't need multiple bots to help. So what I have here is he's gonna go and just grab all these essentially. He's gonna go and grab a tree seed, store it, grab a log, put the log in, grab the tree seed, put it in. He's gonna go and take three planks exactly, not less, not more, but exactly three, because that's all it needs. He's gonna put all three planks in there, and then he's gonna go grab a pole and put it in there as well. I could have optimized it and had him get the pole first, store it, grab the planks and put it in, but I wasn't paying attention. Not a big deal. And I have this repeating five times. So if I ever want bots, I just hit play, and he'll make me five bots, and it's set and forget for me. I don't have to monitor him. I don't have to try and make sure I remember to uh, stop him if I have him left on infinite so I don't have a million bots hanging around. So it's like every time I need bots, I just set it up. Or if I want to make more than five, I just change it to ten. It's not a big deal, right? So we've got that all going. We're looking fantastic. We need to get the rest of this done. So let's build a third chopping block and get fixing pegs made. I didn't realize we needed fixing pegs. So I'm going to throw this down. Now, some of these I'll just build myself because I'm not going to set up a bot to, um... Oh, I already made some. Huh. Oh, this is the wrong thing. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. Delete that. I want this. So this requires a log and a crude axe. I'll throw this down here so my guy goes and puts a log in for me. But I'm not going to set up a bot to do crude axes. How many recipes am I really going to use that require crude axe? That's a waste of a bot. I'll do it myself in these small instances. All right, now that part's complete. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'll put it up here with the rest of these, right? So I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna set this to fixing pegs and they use poles. And what I wanna do is I wanna make these all bigger. I wanna get logs higher so we can have much more logs stored. And I want more poles than planks for the moment. We can get more of these as well. For now, I don't wanna ruin all my finite resources. So we'll keep this going pretty good. And if I need to, I'll add an extra bot for cutting trees in a little bit. Probably will, but at the moment, I'm still doing decent. Uh, speaking of decent, I noticed it starts us off with the bot database. So I'm going to drop this down here so they can start building it for me. But what this does is it allows us to record bot information so we can copy and paste commands to all the bots. This was like a mid-game item in... Uh, in regular Autonauts, and they've given it to us for free. Amazing choice. Amazing. Because this game's more about the survival, right? Alright, so we're gonna set up a guy to make fixing pegs. We're going pegging, boys. And I'm gonna take these, and let me grab, um, I'm gonna delete all these out. And then I'm gonna grab them from here. And I'm gonna put the fixing pegs, you know, I'm actually just gonna leave them right here. This'll be fine. Yeah, this will be good. So let's grab you. You are going to be my pegger. Got him. We're going to record. And what does that take? It takes one pull. So you're going to come over here and do... What is it? Does it make two? It makes two. So he's only going to be able to hold four, I think. So I'm going to have you do this. And then you're going to come over here and do that. And then I'm just copying and pasting so he just does it twice. It's easy code, right? Bam. And then you're going to come over here. Do this until your hands are full. And then you're going to come over here. And you're going to do this until your hands are empty. And I'm going to leave it there. I don't need him getting stuck because if, if I have him exit his strategy here and he has pegs in his hand and he goes to try and pick something up, pick up a pole to make more, he's going to get stuck. Don't get stuck. You don't put an exit repeat when you're having him do something like this. And then you're going to do that forever because now if he can't add that peg, he'll just stop right there and wait like these guys are. I don't know why actually he stopped. That's actually probably a, uh, a blueprint guy. He's just literally waiting. Yeah, that's our BP poles. So, all right, we've got our pegger. We've got poles. We've got planks. I've got my tree storage a lot or my log storage a lot higher. I've got 100 now. So that's fantastic. Let that roll. So, once we have three pegs stored, we'll have basic lumberjack done. Then... Okay, I thought something cool was going to happen. Guess not. Uh, now, we need to do the next mission. Defense mission stick farm. So, this is the one I'm assuming that's going to propel us forward in this, in this kind of mechanism, right? In this meta. So, first thing, I'm going to add more to my stick farm. 
And I'm going to add one more to my tree seeds just so I can have a bunch of seeds. I love having seeds. And I'm going to hold off for a bit. Just put that down. Now we need to make a wooden mallet. So that means I'm going to need an any tree bashed, right? So I'm going to set up a specific tree for tree bashing. And then we're going to put up... Uh, that's why I also increased the sticks because we're probably going to need sticks for whatever this, these defenses are. So let's get a bot to make mallets first. So this is going to go here. We'll put our mallets in there. You are going to be... Uh, what are these guys set up as? It's Toolmaker. Okay. I like to keep the naming conventions the same if I can. So you will be Toolmaker Mallet. Why is it so big? There we go. So you're going to come over here. What do I need? I, we need a log and a pole. So you're going to first come to the pole, grab it and store it. Then you're going to grab a log. I didn't store it. Hold on. Uh, boop. Let me drop this real quick. I have a pickaxe in my back pocket. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so he's gonna pick it up, pick up a pole, store it. It's in my store now. Now I'm gonna grab a log. Oops. Move, pick up. There we go, move to the log, pick up the log. I right clicked by mistake. And then we're gonna come to the mallet. Crafter. Drop that in. Retrieve. Remember, that's Q on the keyboard. Dump that bad boy in there. Bam. Plus one. Pick it up. Put it in the box. Repeat forever, baby. Go. Have fun. So now we've got mallets automated as well. So again, just like the rest of the guys, once this is full, he's just going to sit here and wait to throw a mallet in. It's perfect. So one thing I can already see, I should probably get a second bot for our diggers, right? We're cutting down trees fast enough with just one, but look, we can barely keep up with diggers. So let's show you how to utilize a bot database while our boy over here does his thing, okay? So first off, I'm gonna grab, do I have a shovel laying around? I have a, oh, I do, right here. So I'm going to set up a little spot. I like to have a, you know, I'm gonna put a tree right here. Yes, right here. I'm gonna dig up this turf. Come on. And then, actually, no. You know what? Put the turf over here. Okay. I'm actually gonna put them up here. Just gonna put them right on the corner. gonna put this in my inventory what I want to make sure of is my tree cutters not out here cutting okay perfect he's not so now I'm just gonna grab this tree seed I'm gonna plop that in here we're gonna wait for that to grow and we're gonna get a bot to be a mallet boy so I'm gonna grab a mallet I'm gonna put my spade down here I'm gonna grab a mallet talk to you and you are gonna record you are going to be Tree Basher. And I'm going to just send you to get the code. So we can click on any tree. You're going to bash that tree. And I'm going to shrink this down to one square. You're going to do that right there. That tree. You are going to do that until... Question mark is full, which is this. This stick box, until that is full, you will bash that tree. You can exit the loop, though, just in case, because if you happen to break your mallet, I want you to come over here. Grab these. If your hands are empty, move to the mallet storage and grab one. Oh, I missed. Do that forever. So, if your hands are empty, grab a mallet. Otherwise... Repeat until the stick storage 2 is full. Bash this tree because that's the area it's in. Go ahead. So he's going to grab it and he's just going to kind of sit there and wait because he doesn't know what to do because it's full. Right? Or this isn't grown yet. And then what I just need to do is find my stick boy. Go in here. This is where the teams come in handy. So if I... And I'll show you how to create a team here in a second. 
if I go to my tree farm and I grab my... Where is he? Stick gathering. I'm going to stop you for a second and record. Okay, so look, his range is way out here. So it's encapsulating this as well in some extra space. So it's perfect because my tree basher is right here. So you're perfectly fine. So as, as he knocks on the tree, the sticks will fall around here and my stick gatherer will still pick them up. So we are gooch. Gucci, my boy. All right, let's talk about teams, okay? Let's create a new team. So right here, create team. You're going to be blueprints. I'm going to make you blue. Uh, like that kind of blue. All right, and then all you do is grab your bots. And you can hold control to grab multiple of them. And then you just drag them on in. Close it down. So like basic robot engineer. Oh! Huzzah, my people! All right, well done. You completed all of the plans needed to set up your base's core systems. That's why I kind of waited for this. I wanted to be looking good. Look at this party. Take a screenshot. Take a shot. Okay. So we completed all the core systems. So now you're ready to move on to the next phase of your campaign. Operation CD Biz. You silly bitches. I see what you did there. I love it. Autonauts HQ has put together a new series of missions for you to complete. All right, we got, so that was whatever that operation was, eyes only. So we got arable farming, cultivate and harvest cereal, trading, exchange goods for resource and resources for gold. Hell yeah, new mechanic right there, acquiring gold. And science, set up basic research, okay. So to fund our defense campaign, we'll need gold, which means you need a reliable income stream. Let's start with this mission to set up arable farming. Find a wild cereal crop and harvest it for seeds to get started. Okay. We've also unlocked the next Autonauts field manual. Check out the new tutorials available in the Autonautopedia. All right. Yeah, let's actually do that. So, whoopsies. So, we've got these all complete. Wait, no. And the tutorial. Yes. I wasn't expecting it to do a tutorial. All of these were glowing. Oh, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna hit these just so I can stop these from glowing at me. Oh, you can just right click them. Sick. Okay, I really didn't wanna deal with that. So, eyes, so operation groundwork is complete. What's in a name? Lumber storage, super cereal. Oh, we've got some other like basic things here too. Start self-sustaining forestry. Tools completed, my first program completed. Okay. These are like big chapter things, okay. So we're gonna do arable farming. I'm gonna pin these, can I? Guess not. Spaceport built a piggy bank? Defense research center, pieces of eight bit? Is that like gold, pieces of eight? <laughs> pieces of eight bit, I love it. All right, sick. All right, we're gonna get arable farming. So we gotta get crude blades. And then we got to get a flail and we need to move on to small silos and store the cereal seeds. So the first thing I want to do, let's go find cereal. So let's go exploring. But first, oh, it looks like we got some upgrades here. So you can see this exclamation mark. It means we got something unlocked. Let me go back in here. Okay, these are still vibrating, even though nothing unlocked, nothing, 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 nothing. It must be unlocked when you do this. Usually you see like something unlocked. Interesting. Nothing unlocked. Okay. But here, if I come over to one of these, we can see we've got the crude blade, which is two stones. And we've also got a crude flail, which is two sticks. So that's great. So actually what we can do is if I go over to this, we'll just drop down another workstation here. I'll even just put two more because we've got them built, right? Can't put that one down because it's a rock in the way. God dang it. Karn Flabbit. There we go. We'll need a few more of those, but that's all right. We've got a new storage, the small silo. So I might as well drop a few of these down, right? And then I'll go over here. What is this? So this is the spaceport. Might as well build that. And over here, we've got a piggy bank. Might as well build that. This is why you just get things automated. You don't have to build it yourself. You let them do it. And then we got a defense research center. 
That requires gold, so I can't do that, but we can put it down and they can start working on it. So we'll get those going while we go exploring. But first, a message from our sponsors. Just kidding. So I'm gonna make myself a crude scooter, but I need to make a gear wheel, right? So I'm gonna grab three poles and a plank. So let's go grab our plank. I'll put that in my pocket. That's a pole. I'm gonna grab a plank and put that in my pocket and I'm gonna grab three poles. Two, three of those. And also I wanna get more planks here. Let's uh, one, two, three. We'll plop a few of those down so those can get made too. All right, let's go back here. And then we'll just make crude wheel by hand. We'll add that into our automation in a bit, but at the moment I don't really need a bunch of them. So I'm just gonna do it manually just so I can make my things right now. Wow, we're already out of planks. That's because we're making a bunch of them over here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a couple planks myself real quick. Come on, man, that's slow. One, two. Once I get these pallets made, I'll increase my plank storage. I definitely need a bunch more planks. I made a mistake and didn't put a second tier on that right now. So let's grab my gears, put them here. We'll make my scooter. And what does the scooter do, my friends? It makes us go fast. So if I take that, drag it over here. See, look, now I got a scooter. It makes us move faster. Now I'm gonna build a backpack for five planks and two poles, and I'll show you what that does. Move the last plank in. Bam, all of that makes our nice tiny backpack. Equip that. Bada bing, bada boom, we got two storage slots. Hell yeah. So I do have cereal seed here. I forgot it kind of started us with one, but I'm just gonna, shit, I planted it. <laughs> Whoopsies. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to put it on the ground, but oh, hey, look, we got cereal here. I honestly didn't see that. Didn't even see that. So we're gonna have to go grab a blade or a scythe to harvest that. Just gonna, what's this? Unknown, can't go up there, okay? Maybe I have to do some story progression or maybe the uh, the review copy. Wait. What are you? An abandoned outpost? Outpost reclaimed. Nice, you captured our first outpost and got pieces of 8-bit. I wonder what secrets will be unlocked by researching this special pirate technology? Pieces of 8-bit, got a hundred of them. We got grass here. I've got some crude fencing. Can't delete them. I was gonna bring those home. Okay, interesting. Uh-oh, pirate bots. Looks like this outpost is still guarded. I bet that crumbly old boss tower is using the cat up or the captured folks sadness to power the force field. Oh god, we had love and auto or love and autonauts, and now we've got sadness powered pirates. Those pirates won't give up without a fight. You're going to need the right support and tools to remove them. New pirate bot identified. So we got pirate bot number one, a scowl. Beautiful. Basic melee threat can be troublesome in greater numbers. Does 13 damage to ground units, three to structure, zero to aerial, uh, nine cents. So maybe it sees things from nine tiles away. 500 health, four speed. Okay. Okay. He sees me. I'm out of here. I'm up. They see me. I'm down. Gonna explore this here because we got some cool shite out here, apparently. Ooh! This is not captured. Our post stop will got another 100 pieces of 8 bit. Alright, matey. Come get your EFT NFTs. Alright. Well, don't know what that's gonna do for me. So let's set up a bot to get our blades and crude ax going. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna set up these because they're right across from each other, right? How did I get these across, but not the others? Interesting, it's fine. So I'm gonna set this up to be a, uh, no, oh, uh, yeah, I'll put the crude blade here. I thought I had a scythe, but I guess I don't have that upgrade yet. So it's going to take two stones, which is very simple to do. So let's grab worker number 25. You are going to be tool maker, crude blade, record. You're going to go here, grab, grab. I'm just going to remove the, the move to because I just want to grab two myself. Then you're going to come over here, plop, plop. Again, just remove the second move to. Put that there. Grab this. I'm going to pause the recording for a second. 
because I need a box, which I'm going to put... This will be a force. Let's do some farming over here. I'm going to put it right here for the moment because I'm not quite sure where I want it to go and we can always move it. It's very simple to move stuff. Record, and then you're going to move over here, put that away, repeat forever. Have fun, my friend. Actually, you know, I can change that to do two. I wonder if you can... You can hold multiple crude blades. If I stop this, hit record, do this, take from here, take... Oops. Right here. Do times... Oops. I thought I said times. Times four. Grab four rocks. Move from here and add until hands are empty. And then pick up this crude blade. Until your hands are full, you can't go any longer. And then add it here until your hands are empty. Now he'll make multiple. And then he'll stop right there. Go. It doesn't hurt that he's got rocks in his hands. Gotta move that. <laughs> I had to just move that within the BPs. That was slightly out of range there. That's all right, though. So now we've got crude blades being made. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna go a thrash. You know what? I can probably just keep cereal up here. This is a decent spot, don't you think? Yeah, that's fine, honestly. Let me grab my shovel. And I'm just gonna even this out a bit. So I like three by threes, though. Yeah, I do like three by threes, honestly. Uh, we need a fixing peg bot. You ready? So we do this, record. This will be BP peggers, not poggers. Come over here. Do this until your hands are full. Skip out, find something that needs pegs. Do that until your hands are empty. Do it forever. Go, go, just go. All right, that'll get those going. Now I just need gold, we've got pegs. This is what I wanted right here is the, the bot database. Let me grab four seeds. Move this back now too. And bot database. Good. Let's add a few storages in here. Where's my peggers? Do it myself, because he's just, it's the last one he's doing. I just want to... Where's my guy? Fix him, Peg. There he is. Great job, you built the trading post. Oh, hello. You can now sell goods and resources to the rest of the universe. Select a spaceport to see what you can sell and for how much you can use your profits to fund the defenses you need to help reclaim the planet. Good luck saving the world. Appreciate it. So I'm just going to take this. I'm actually just going to move you way out here because we don't need that. Here. A bot broken tool. Oh, this is cool. So now we can do bot database from here or hit B. We can use this to search for bots and we can add bots here. So for instance, if I want to grab tree digger, right? I'm going to, right here, bot database. Upload tree digger program to the database. Now you can see this program is saved, right? So if I come over and grab one of you guys, go to the database, and I do link worker 022 to the program, he now has a copy of the tree digger program. So now you are gonna be, uh, you're just gonna be a hole digger. Old digger three by three. Okay. And then I just need to uh, change to this program will affect. Oh no. Oh, can I unlink it? Unlink. Okay. Now he's got the program. That's a new feature. That was actually pretty nice. So you can keep it linked 
which means if you ever change the program elsewhere, it'll change it for all the bots. I don't want that here. I wanted this as a base so that I can move you to where I want you. So I'm gonna do this actually. So that's gonna be a hole. Okay. This will be a hole. Okay. And honestly, that's actually, that's honestly probably more than enough. Let me get rid of, Jesus. Get rid of both of these. And, oh no, I wanted those. Shoot. Do that, move this. I'm gonna put you right here like that. And then I want you to dig my holes for me. Okay. So he's just gonna find soil. Oh, these have turf. All right, hold on. Record. Let me go grab my, my shovel here. I gotta tell my boy to pick up turf instead. Okay, that's a fixing peg. Grab that. Get rid of all that. Now I want you to dig. Here. Gotta wait for me to stop digging, and then I'm just gonna move, replace find nearest soil with find nearest turf. Three by three, right there. Go for me. And actually, what I can do is stop you, record you, change this to here. There you go. So now he'll do this. Perfect. Hard days worth of hard days worth of work right there. Now let's grab a cereal thrasher. Actually, and before I even do that, you pick me bots. All right, so you will be cereal killer. And we're gonna record. Let me make sure I actually remember how to do this. I'm gonna call you over here so I don't lose you. Let me grab my oops. Let me grab my blade. Let me grab my blade. And if I beat you, what do you do? It's been so long, and I don't remember doing cereal very often. Okay, so I've got, I gain two cereal out of this, and I lose the spot. Okay, good to know. So I need to keep Digger Boy over here, and I just got to replace his turf with another uh, dig holes. Actually, no, I don't need him digging holes. I actually don't want him to dig holes, because we just place seeds back in there. Does it tell us to build a thrasher? Yes, it does. Cereal thrash. And then, I'm just gonna put these right here. Okay, cool. So let's get a thrasher ready. So cereal killer. Perfect. So cereal killer, you are gonna, well, I'm gonna grab this. You're gonna do this. Okay, not drop it, you fool. You idiot. You're gonna do this, and I'm gonna change, I'm just gonna type it. I'm gonna change this to a six by three. Okay. All right, I wanted this to be a three by six because I'm an idiot. And I want it to be a three by seven because I'm a bigger idiot. Yeah, like that. That's your work area. You're gonna do this. Whoop. Forever. You can also do till hands empty, but I use forever just to keep consistency with all of my other programs in general. You're gonna do that forever. And do 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 do. Let me store that. And then I'm gonna throw an if statement in, and then you're gonna come over here. I'm gonna move this anyways, but I'm j it's just right here for the moment. If your hands are empty, grab one of those. And I like this at the top. And go. All right, cool. So he's working. Let's build a thrasha. Let me take this. So we got crude flail. And as I was saying, I'm actually just going to move this right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. All right. Now let's grab a bot. And this is a crude flail. So tool maker crude flail. Flare? Rick Flare. Crude flail. Record. You're going to come over here and grab two sticks. No, you're going to grab four sticks. Okay. 
Uh, I can just- I only need two. Whoop. You're gonna do this... Times... Four. And then, you're gonna come over here and add it in here. Until your hands are empty. Skip it. I'm gonna just put that last one in so I can make my tool. Alright, you're gonna do that until your hands are empty. And then you're gonna come over here. Pick up your flail. Ooh. You're gonna stow your flail. And then you're gonna pick up your flail. I can actually just put this in a repeat sequence until his hands are full. Skip out. And then you're gonna come over here. And throw the flail in this box. And then you're gonna retrieve. And you're gonna do that again. So if I do... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Do this until your hands are empty. Go. Repeat forever. That should work just fine. We'll monitor that. I was a little scuffed on my end. I apologize. But that should be perfectly good to go. Let me put that back in my pocket. Let me grab this turf out of the way. I don't think I want these holes here. I might have to have my bot fill them in. We'll get there, though. So, I want to see... Yes. Okay. So, now let's grab a... Actually, this is really my serial killer. The real... Serial killer. And we're going to record this. You're going to do this if your hands are empty. And then you're going to come out here. And you're going to beat the shit out of cereal. That's why you're a serial killer, my friend. Like that. All right. Do that forever. And do that forever. Go. Go have fun. I'm going to put this back. Move to stick storage. Take four. Move to the crude workbench until his hands are empty. Do this. Stop. Drop. Why do you have sticks in your hand? What's wrong? Let me watch this process. Something's wrong here, I think. Oh, pause. I see what's wrong here. He has an extra stick on here. Alright, just go for a second. Yeah. Stop. Come here. Hold on, what's wrong here? So he's moving to the stick storage, taking four sticks. He's moving to this. He's adding that to the bench. No, it may need... I might need to keep this in here. I know sometimes that gets broken. So you'll do this until your hands are empty, and then you're gonna go find the nearest crude flail. And you'll do this until your hands are full. And then you'll move and retrieve. All right, drop what you have. Try again. I just take these two with me. Perfect. One, two. Did he just he just stored more than one of those in his back pocket? How many pockets do these guys have? Where'd he go? Wait, what the hell? Where'd he just go? Did I lose him? His hands was already empty. How many flails can this guy hold? He can hold three flails. That's interesting. Two. He can put two in his... Po five? Dude had five flails? What the hell?
One, two, three. I know a way I can kind of fix this. Stop for a second. Drop what's in your hands. I gotta check to see how I can look in their inventory again. I know there was a way before, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change retrieve to here and actually we'll copy it here. So we'll retrieve, it'll fail if nothing happens anyway, so he'll do this. Uh, do this until your hands are empty. All right, it's good enough. It'll work at least, I mean, whatever. Even if it's somewhat goofy and scuffed, it, it'll, it'll figure it out. It'll figure it out. Just gonna grab all these here. Excellent. So now, in the next episode here, we'll wrap this up and we'll just, all we gotta do is create storage bots for cereal and straw, super easy stuff. Holy shit, they're disappearing. I'm gonna pause the game real quick. But all right, brothers and sisters, that is how we get the cereal. We saw some bots here. We're gonna get the cereal set up and see what we can do to be selling. So that way we can figure out exactly how to make gold and what may be the best factor in making that gold. So if you're loving what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment as well. And don't forget to subscribe so you get back here for more of that Autonauts. But all right, brothers and sisters, this has been Shabby Doo. And the rest of your day is not too shabby.